Hello there, and today I want to go through physical releases for the Spectrum Next. Uh, this is all the physical releases that I actually own. There's one I know that I didn't buy, and there may be others out there as well. So basically I'm going to be showcasing all of the physical releases, showing you the insides, etc. And um, maybe split it into more than one video, we'll just see how we get on. So I've got a two camera setup today, uh, which is quite high tech for me. So, first up is this game, Dungeonette. And Dungeonette was the first ever physical release for the Spectrum Next. Uh, it was released in April 2018 uh, by Software Amusements, that was Adrian Cummings back in the day. And this game actually came out before the case next were made available. And as you can see here, it came in a PlayStation Vita case, I think it is. And um, there's nothing else in there apart from the case with the uh, SD card on. There's no instructions or anything in there. And uh, I can just show you the back if I can get the light off it a bit. There you go. Original Limited Run Collector's Edition. Fantastic. So, after Dungeonette came Delta Star. Again, this is from Software Amusements, uh, Adrian Cummings. Second physical release ever for the next, July 2018. So, only a few months after the uh, Dungeonette game. And this follows uh, the same pattern, really, as Dungeonette, in that it's a PlayStation Vita case. There's some nice screenshots on the back, some uh, blurb about what to do, 2018 Adrian Cummings. And again, the limited, limited run collector's edition, made in Scotland, from Gardas. Not many people get that reference, by the way. So again, it's just uh, an SD card with a printed label on it. Now, breaking the flow of games, the next one we have, next physical release, is Nextdoor. Fantastic piece of music creation software uh, written by Gary. And I'll probably <coughs> mispronounce this surname. Biasilo or Biasilo, sorry about that Gary. I've been using this software for many years and I love it. It's great for creating music on the Spectrum Next. Um, he followed what had already been set by uh, Software Amusements in terms of the case style, so he jumped on that particular bandwagon. Uh, cover art for the uh, game was done by Simon Butler. And on the back we have some nice words and screenshots. Piracy is theft. Be nice. You should remember that. Um, now, well, we actually have a little bit of a leaflet in here. The manual is actually in PDF format, though. Um, this just gives you some quick reference information on the game itself. There may have been other things added since I bought this because the uh, software's evolved quite a lot over the years. So there we go, that is next door. And that, I believe, was released in August, I think, August 2018. Next up, November 2018, saw the birth of Montana Mike, uh, another software amusements game by Adrian Cummings. Uh, no um, similarity at all to other games of a similar nature. Um, you can probably see what I'm getting at there. And on the back as well, it follows the uh, same method as the Dungeonette and Delta Star. Again, it is a limited run collector's edition, which is true. You know, we won't be able to get these again, I don't think. Again, PlayStation Vita case. Except this one has something a little bit extra. A little map of the Aztec ruins in Mexico. It also has a Montana Mike badge. Close up of my nails there. <laughs> 
Montana Mike Badge and of course the SD card in a case. So it's been dialed up a little bit there. The stakes are higher uh, with this release. And then next up, what he did was he produced a compilation of his first three games. And it was called the Gold Compilation. And yeah, as you can see, it contains Dungeonette, Delta Star, and Montana Mike. Again, we have screenshots for all three on the back. Um, not sure if it says it's a limited super duper special release here. This is really for the completionist, isn't it? You know, if you already own the first few. And again, we have this same leaflet in there for Montana Mike. PlayStation Vita case, SD card, and that is it. That is the gold compilation. That was released in February 2019. Sticking with software amusements, because they were quite prolific back in the day, we have Dweeb's Drop, which was released, I think, as well in February 2019. And again, PlayStation Beta case, software amusements. And there you can see on the back, my screenshots, you can see there what kind of game it is. And again, it's an original limited run collector's edition. And he has continued the tradition of sticking a badge in there, which is nice. And then just the SD card. So yeah, that was February 2019. We then come to the very last of the uh, software amusements run. And this was uh, June 2019. We saw Bubblegum Brothers. Similarities with things like uh, Bubble Bubble. And again, PlayStation Vita case, screenshots on the back, and it's an original limited run collector's edition. Inside, we don't seem to have a badge. I don't know if it had a badge, maybe I've lost the badge, I'm not sure. Uh, just a SD card with a label on it. And that is, that is that, that is that. What comes next? Well, there are three games that were released around a similar time, or at least they were available for pre-order around a similar time. And this is the time to introduce Rusty Pixels. Um, they've been working on these games for quite some time. And I'm gonna start off with uh, Baggers in Space, and I believe that this was available to pre-order in um, February of 2020. So you could pre-order it so that they knew roughly how many of these things to order, how many cases, how many SD cards. It's quite an expensive task at times to, to source these things. And to, you really need to know how many of each you need to get. Sorry for knocking the camera there. Uh, so yeah, Baggers in Space, uh, infamous, famous Jim Bagley there. Um, this is now in a DVD, DVD style case, so we've changed case types. And as you saw with the software amusements and Nextdoor, the PlayStation Vita case doesn't really fit an SD card in properly. And these cases are designed for SD cards. So as you can see there, we have some nice screenshots on the back, if I can stop the light falling on it. Um, ZX Next Hub tested and approved. And we can see nice uh, artwork in there. We have a small leaflet in here. Let's get that out of the way a sec. Um, so the leaflet is telling you the story and the controls, just what you'd expect. And for me, this, this really is the minimum that I would expect for a physical release because you don't want to have something more than you can get with a digital download, but you want it to be more than just a case and an SD card in my opinion, so it's nice to have a little something uh, in addition to that. So that is uh, 
bag is in space. Now, at the same time, we also had this game. And there wasn't really much hoo-ha about this one, it kind of just sneaked up on us. Um, it was released alongside the other three, but at a slightly cheaper price. I think that the Baggers was maybe $16.99 and this was $14.99. But this is an excellent arcade action-y type puzzle game with lots and lots of levels and there's specific techniques to completing all of the levels. It's really good, it's got really good uh, replay factor. But it follows the same convention as Baggers in Space. You've got this DVD case which holds the SD card nicely. We have a leaflet in here which presumably contains some background and instructions. Journey to the Fable Crystal Arenas of Larvae. Um, so yeah, and then it gives you the controls etc etc. So we're still, I believe, around February um, 2020. Did I say 2020? I hope I didn't say 2019 earlier, but yeah, February 2020. And then the next of the three that was part of that um, was is Warhawk. Now, no one really needs an introduction to Warhawk because it was available on, well, it has been on other platforms for many years, C64, uh, Atari ST. Did it come out for the Spectrum? can't remember. I never played it on the Spectrum. Uh, I'd moved on by then to the SC. Same deal again. Um, DVD style case with a SD card inside and a little leaflet laying out the story. The Battle Manual. That's not a picture of Flash by the way. He's, uh, <laughs> he's, not, he's not as good looking as that. Um, yeah, so that is the three Rusty Pixels games that were available for pre-order in February 2020. Next up is QB by Delo Games, that's Daniel Lopez, I think, Lopez. Um, and this one came out in May 2020 for pre-order. And it's taken the example of the Rusty Pixels games and used the DVD style case. It's a next hub release. It has this um, S on the side and it has a, a unique number. And typically next hub. Um, I believe that we help out with sourcing materials and we also do something in terms of quality checking and, and assisting with, you know, assisting a developer or whatever. Um, so it, it's meant to ultimately be kind of an assurance that this is well well written, well crafted, etc. Decent game. Um, but there is nothing inside, nothing at all inside. It's completely empty apart from this, which I think is a bit of a shame because it, I, I know costs are a, a factor, but it would be nice just to have some you know little booklet in here just describing the story and the controls. It's it's a tiny thing, it's a little touch, but it's nice, I think, to do. Next is The Curse of Rabenstein. Curse of Rabenstein was available to pre-order in April 2020, I believe. Got some bits stuck on the back of this box, let me just uh, get them off. I think I, I placed it on the floor for a minute and uh, something decided to attach itself to it. I'll have to clean that up later. So yeah, Curse of uh, Ravenstein here, a puddle game. So this is a classic adventure game, it doesn't quite fit all into shot there. So this is the Spectrum Next version of course, as it says. And we get some nice information. It's a really nice box this, it's really nice kind of texture to it. It's, um, yeah, lovely. Now this is where they pulled out all the stops, I think, or pulled out many stops in terms of the the, the packaging elements of the game. And um, let me just um, show you what's inside this. So here we go. Signed by the author, Stefan Voigt. I assume it's Voigt because, well, that's how I pronounce it anyway. We have a 
spaniel. Let me just move that out of the way a sec. Curse of Ravenstein. Some nice artwork in here too. Loading instructions for the various platforms. And um, yeah, hence <laughs> we recommend to draw a map. Great hint. We have Curse of Ravenstein sticker, a polyplay who I guess handled the physical aspects and distribution. Another polyplay sticker. We have a small crucifix. Well, I've not had need to use that yet, but then again, hmm. I've seen Salem's a lot enough times. Um, it's obviously some flyer for another game that they're releasing. There's a few of these actually. A few of these flyers for different games. Space Chase. The actual SD card case. Printed label. And in addition to that, I can't fit this under the camera. We have a poster. I think I just hold that up here. Nice poster. So that that really is, I think that's above and beyond that. That's really cool. You feel like you're getting something, you know, that justifies the X number of pounds that you've uh, spent on a physical title. Okay. So putting that one away. So yeah, um, when was that? Uh, April 2020 we're up to. And in August 2020, we got this. Grelox Contagion. So another release, Bitmap Soft comes up a fair bit. They do a fair bit of publishing, kind of an indie publisher. And uh, this has adopted the DVD style. It's a Next Hub release, as I mentioned before. I won't go back through what all that means. So a nice DVD case with a nice uh, SD card holder, printed label on the SD card. And then we have some instructions, installation instructions, bit out of the gameplay. It mentions Colony 7 there as well because this um, this includes Relox Colony 7, which is a different game. Although, obviously, they're both uh, Grelox type games. So there you go. So that's nice. I like that. Sun Team. Sun Team do a lot of great stuff on the Spectrum next. Um, they do the. Uh, I can't remember, it's not, it's not monthly, um, every few months they release Nexta, um, which is like an electronic magazine featuring games and music and news and, and such like that. So he does a really good job. So not only does he, he create games and, and sells physical copies and digital copies, but he, he does a lot uh, for no real reward except for, you know, to help the community, etc. So really love that. Um, so yeah, that was um, Grelox Contagion, and that was around August 2020, that was available for pre-order. Next we come to November 2020, and this one is Bikers, Cavern Games. So, this isn't the next hub release, but uh, they've used the same DVD style case. I think it's, it's fairly common now for people to use that, most of my physical title to use this form. Nice screenshot on the back. Are you ready for high octane arcade racing action? Throttle wide open. So yeah, um, Andy Laird created this. And of course other people were involved in different aspects of it. Uh, I can't remember exactly who worked on what. <clears throat> so again we have a Instruction manual here. Throttle wide open, needle on the red line. Um, Biker supports an Atari CX20 driving controller. That's interesting. I find it very difficult, but my, re my reactions aren't nearly as good as they used to be anyway. And here we have a picture 
of the man himself, Andy Laird, in kind of 8-bit glory there. Nice. So yeah, that is Bikers, November 2020. And the next thing on the list is Delta Shadow. So Delta Shadow um, became available in December 2020. And here is Delta Shadow here. Now, <laughs> I actually got two copies of this. I ordered two copies of it because I just felt, um, well, at that point in time, I felt like I really wanted to support. I loved the game. I uh, wanted to really support them. So um, this particular copy has not been opened. So, And I've got another one in the loft. Not that these will be worth millions of pounds in the future, but I think it's super one of the only game I do have to of, and all the others I've just bought one off. So I'll just uh, open that up. Here we go without the cellophane on. So lovely artwork here, brilliant. Sinclair, obviously he handles. Can never pronounce his name, Evgeny. Ev Evgeny. Um, he basically handles physical releases. Uh, SC is Sanchez Crew who do loads of fantastic work on the Spectrum and have done fa fantastic work on the Spectrum Next as well. Um, so we've got a lovely, lovely back there with screenshots on. Even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of Delta, I will fear no power of Blade. There you go. And in here, now, the artist um, who was involved in this game, you tell me, <laughs> hmm, yeah, okay. Useful hints. So we have a set of useful hints here, which is nice. You don't see many instructions in this, do you? But I think you, you find that the game itself is quite instructive, anyway. Um, and I do seem to recall that this game came with something else. An envelope, Delta Shadow envelope. So this was too big to fit in the DVD case. Probably too big for me to show you on this other video. But you can. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Where's my camera? Yep. So we've got that one there. And we've got a cool Delta Shadow poster there. So that's very nice. I've got another envelope over here as well, and I'm not sure what it came with. I'll have to have a quick look at it. What is this one? Okay, yeah, okay. Save that one for later. Okay, so that was Delta Shadow. Okay, so next up after Delta Shadow is Speed. I keep looking over here, by the way, because I can see myself there and I keep forgetting to look there. <laughs> Speed, 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 and again, uh, in this case, um, I got the digital copy, and I've been playing that, and I don't even think I've opened this yet, although I may have done, because it's one of those you can possibly reseal and get away with it, but anyway, here is Speed, this was released around January 2021, 2021, yeah, and... Bitmapsoft again, um, publishing it, and we can see it's a Next Hub, Next Hub tested and approved, um, and this game was created by Lee Duke, who's uh, he's brilliant on the scene. Uh, he's had a bunch of stuff on the Next, and he's got something new in the pipeline. Um, just mentioning it on the Facebook group the other day, um, the game Vegetables 
came back to me after looking through this collection of physical stuff and obviously vegetables is something by Lee Duke, which hopefully will be released in physical form in the near future. But anyway, this is Speed, adopting the DVD style case. And um, yeah, we have a instruction booklet in here. Credits, Lee Duke, Rick Lum, Darren Doyle, Jimmy Batterson. Tells you the story, tells you the controls. Tells you about obviously Grelox Contagion. Another bitmap soft title. So yeah, that is that is speed.